Oh, FM fans in the Espresso Crew, and welcome back to a new episode of uh, Gonsly uh, Low League Management, or I like to call it pseudo Low League Management, since uh, it is actually not real Low League Management or whatever. When you play very realistic, so yeah, I will retitle the tracks or whatever. Uh, but here we are and I'm sorry no face camp today since uh, I'm a little bit sick and so but I will just uh, commentate this and uh, maybe the next Pearl episode because I have to post commentate both since uh, my face cam and as well my audio cut out so yeah here we are. And here we check in on form and stuff, uh, who looks good and who looks doesn't don't look that good. And now I believe we went into transfer. And Griffiths of course he will come soon, I believe. Uh, we have Ross Holland, or if he haven't come, or if he haven't got to the club, I don't know. But wherever. Uh, here we have him, uh, Ross Holland. So, yeah, not too bad. Uh, not the best, uh, what to call it, not the best stats uh, to say or, or what, the, what to say. But it's still decent. Uh, and then we have Andy Hall, which I thought looked pretty uh, good talent, even if he just has uh, three stars in potential. But, oh uh, well. I don't really know if my manager uh, or my assistant manager is that good of uh, judging players' potential and such, so yeah. And then we have some players who went out. Nick Shelby, yeah. Yeah, mostly just loans there, so yeah. And we will play against Aldershot today, but unfortunately, as you can see, I don't have the... Uh, games for the matches and that's because I forgot to uh, rec uh, or I forgot to put that in or record the uh, match highlights so yeah uh, but uh, I guess I I don't really know how this month was since it was so long since I played it so yeah but I believe at least this live match was uh, pretty nice or if we no i believe we did not lose or we m might have gotten a draw i i should not spoil too much but i don't i don't even know the outcome just as uh, you don't know the outcomes of yet yeah. i've seen very much when you use the settings tackle hard the uh, what to call it the opponents uh, or the yeah the opponents gets penalties all the time so that is not a brilliant idea uh, actually <clears throat> so yeah all the shot this was a really important game we were still above the relegation zone here so that was that was actually great uh, and yeah this was a uh, at the end of December and as I said I have a little bit uh, yeah, my throat isn't the best, so uh, I will actually take some tea. So I'm sorry if I'm if it sounds a little bit by by that, but I try to be as professional as I can. So yeah, <laughs> I believe we did it pretty decent, maybe in the last matches, or I believe we did it. It was a pretty okay period. I guess we can see in the end of this episode here, so yeah, that is the instruction I will go for, I believe, using the flanks and all. And let's start off the game, and I will actually edit out as well the mouse, which I see now is here. Not. Uh, oh well, uh, oh here we have, and uh, now we have the goal here uh, for them, uh, all the shot here. So, yeah, unfortunately, Brody there uh, scores for them. Not the greatest. <sighs> yeah, this was pretty crappy or whatever. But we get the goal here with uh, Lockwood, actually, 
very uh, uh, what do you call it uh, a person that doesn't score that much I mean he, he has uh, one of our central defenders so great set piece there or I believe it was a set piece uh, uh, a free kick there yeah we might have got to the draw here uh, Two, two, or I, I don't know. I still don't know really, but it might have been a draw actually, which wasn't not that bad. But I would have liked to got a victory here. So yeah, or I shouldn't <laughs> spoil, I guess. But I don't know. I don't know <laughs> how the games actually finish. So. I guess we will see that. 1-1 one, one at all the shot is still not like awful because we don't want all the shots to get points uh, on us so yeah. And as you can see my tactic is working pretty decently though even if it's uh, free defenders which I mostly on uh, football mansion never use but uh, uh, this time I decided to use uh, free uh, central defender it was not because we had free center of defender that was so great it was more like we have uh, uh, left and right backs that are pretty poor so yeah <laughs> and uh, I, I feel like I wanted this st uh, stability in the games here so there we can see what's happened here all the shots they attacked a lot at their left or I don't know I, I I'm terrible with left and right so what to call it don't be surprised if I say the wrong thing uh, we will actually do something about number 21 or what is it I believe it was number 12 I could not see him there or maybe it was number 21 oh well uh, but yeah number seven here has been the problem I believe what is called Sam Houghton yeah not I don't know uh, I just feel like I've heard of him, him before uh, isn't he a Leeds from Leeds from the beginning well I don't know <laughs> uh, well we take in boys here that did not get the start I believe it was because he is he had pretty poor form in the recent matches so yeah Fairly decent, not brilliant. Uh, Osborne, he's a great player though, I must say. Not to spoil too much on the upcoming game, but it's he's been brilliant here, but he, he, he plays even more brilliant in the spring actually. Uh, but I will not spoil too much what happens in the spring, so <laughs> yeah, Osborne there. Thompson and Boyd gets a freaking nice <coughs> chance there, but unfortunately nothing uh, We don't set our chances unfortunately. Craydock has not been the greatest in uh, the attacking uh, the offensive role there so I take in Bulls shell and Why did I take him him? Now I I did a mistake there. <laughs> that was just all. I did a mistake. That was just the thing. Uh, so I take up Hatfield here at the uh, position, and then I draw down uh, Brownhill since he's he's a pretty okay right back, or he would be pretty good as a defensive wing. So yeah, we have him as a defensive wing, and we have uh, my other winger or whatever he, he is a winger but he, is, he plays actually as a wide uh, midfielder so that's nice uh, Boyd gets a little bit tired there but oh well uh, L Lawyer which has been pretty decently his stats looks freaking crappy as hell it's like it's almost like he wouldn't actually do that good in <laughs> even the lower league here but uh, Sam Houchan uh, which I might have used, I don't know. Uh, scores there for all the shots, so not the greatest. So we are down by one goal. I believe we take a draw here, actually, in the end. Uh, Thompson there with... Oh my god, we should have freaking won this uh, match uh, looking at the chances. But no, we don't uh, set our chances in the goal. And that is the problem for today. 
we play uh, we play pretty good uh, the midfield play pretty good with uh, Zach Thompson and Osborne and uh, H- Hatchfield but we do not set our chances and that is a problem uh, because Andy Hall uh, got substituted here and the boys did not do that much better unfortunately or he did, he did okay uh, like uh, Hall I believe as well did it okay but yeah, uh, we did not have so much to set in here. But I believe we get we did get Holland in here. I guess we will see. It might have been the take out lawyer uh, for no. I I put out Osborne right. Osborne gets tired a lot, so. Yeah, we got him out just there. Zach Thompson, what a brilliant player, but I'm not too sure that we can keep him. Uh, or I, I've already played, so I know. No, we actually lose this game. I was surprised that we actually lost this game. Uh, I thought it was a draw, but maybe it, I was thinking of about the f- uh, first match we played uh, against Aldershot, because I believe this is our second game of the season against Aldershot, so... Yeah, unfortunately, we lose against Aldershot in a match that we should have won or at least gotten a draw. So that is really poor by us get to come back here because, yeah, I looked at the stats actually as well. So I was like, yeah, we should have won this. I believe I did say here even that we should have won this because we had two clear cut chances, which is... uh, Really good chances or whatever, if you're not football interested or whatever. <clears throat> or re- ah, yeah, really good goal chances to say so. He looks really interesting. I've been interesting uh, for him for the whole season, actually. And Nana uh, Bouquet, uh, Jam Boy, Jam Doom. Uh, but unfortunately, they do not want to sell him or I don't know he was he did not cost anything here so I don't know why I did not actually buy him that was kind of weird because he as you could see here he scored 10 goals at 17 matches which is brilliant okay he doesn't have the best of stats but still he had done it brilliantly so unfortunately yeah as you could see here a mix of result, but we did it good against Hyde, Hyde. so that was great uh, in the FA Trophy. Uh, Brownlee we won, uh, Holfax which uh, in, in the top we lost, so that was not too uh, uh, surprising. Barrow we just got a draw which was kind of poor, uh, we should have <laughs> won that game probably. Tramir we were really poor and lost uh, a zero free there so unfortunately yeah a little bit ups and downs is but still we are doing decently but as you can see it's not great that we lost this game uh, because now uh, the bottom team here at the tables is about to go forward on us which is actually awful and I believe all the shot all the shot was really impressive uh, or I w- will say that n- not to spoil too much, but all the shot, my god, they were really good at the second half of the season. Uh, I bu- or I believe in this, or maybe in the next episode, they had a really good, uh, really good form, and they lost like uh, none of their five recent matches or something, which is pretty good for. Uh, uh, bottom team in uh, Vanarama National, so yeah, not the greatest there. So I don't know which was the next game I would like come, but I guess we will see in the next episode, or maybe I come back to that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just going around here. I don't really know what I'm doing right now, actually. <laughs> that is really confusing. I may be checking out how satisfied the board is there uh, with everything and they are pleased right now so 
we have like 50% or 50% that is what to call it uh, that is okay and uh, then we are safe but no, not more we are just or I am just stable at the club that is just everything uh, if you get like 30% you are pretty sure to get sacked or whatever or yeah you s sit very s uh, unsafe so here uh, you can see as well the squad depth so that's pretty cool uh, we don't have the best uh, defensive mids there but as you can see we will get Anthony Griffiths in uh, in January I believe so that's brilliant he's terrific and from Montasar he's a Montasarian or whatever it's called uh, so yeah he looks actually brilliant for this level good heading and good marking and that's exactly what we need uh, to not concede that many goals uh, what else no I believe that yeah you can just show check here uh, Jacob Smith haven't actually played that much but I would like him to play more but unfortunately Drinch has actually been decent in recent matches and so on but yeah, I uh, I don't know really if there anything else here to say. We need maybe to squad on our uh, strikers as well, and maybe left and right backs. But uh, I think I will end off here. So thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. Or actually, we will first see here. Yes. Uh, Hedelsford will be our next uh, live game here so hope you enjoyed it uh, and then they are a Vanarama North side so maybe we can actually win this match uh, a, a couple of really difficult matches Grimsby is in the top of the table Gateshead is in the top of the table uh, Forest Green uh, is 8 so yeah it will be tough if we get any points it's just pretty good so yeah thank you all for watching have a good tea and a good coffee day uh, and i see you soon again so bye